Good day everyone and welcome to another Black Mass episode here at Mommy Guiding. For those who are new to my channel, I am Mommy Lala. Dive into the magical world of creativity as crafty Vlogmas proudly welcomes to you, welcomes again a true master of the craft, the award-winning cartoonist, author, and game designer Stan Brown. In this special episode, we will embark on an artistic adventure guided by Stan's 30 plus years of experience working on iconic brands like Dungeons and Dragons, Marvel Superheroes, Legend of Zelda, and many more. From the whimsical landscapes of legendary franchises to the intricate details of character design, Stan Brown has left an indelible mark on the world of art. In this episode, we'll unravel the secrets behind his vibrant creations and gain insights into the techniques that have defined his illustrious career, specifically coloring. Our guest Stan Brown is an artist par excellence. Stan's journey is a tapestry of colors, characters, and creativity. Today, we get to hear some of his stories, tips, and tricks for coloring learned throughout his remarkable career, offering a rare glimpse into the mind of a true craftsman. So whether you're an aspiring artist or a seasoned creator, this episode is a celebration of the joy of coloring. Stan will not only showcase his unparalleled talent, but also inspire us, you and I, to infuse your projects with a splash of color and a touch of magic. If you haven't already subscribed to Mummy Guide Inc. for more crafty vlogmas episodes and creative content, please hit the notification bell so you don't miss a moment of this exclusive artistic journey. Specifically today for Stan Brown. So join us for a truly special episode as we unlock the doors to Stan's world of creativity and color on Crafty Vlogmas. Alright, without further ado, let's welcome back to Mommy Guide Inc. Stan! Hi Stan! Hello, hello! Wow! I need to get you to do all my intros. That was great! <laughs> I, I sound so good! <laughs> You are. <laughs> Again, Stan, thank you so much for being ever so patient with me. Guys, we have a ton of tech 
issue. Oh my goodness. The, <laughs> the, the, the list just goes on and on. And I'm super happy that, you know, Stan is just so cool and chill about everything. You know what, Stan? Okay, maybe you would want to invite them over first to, um, you know, uh, tr um, your channels because I think the TV is on and I can hear it, <laughs> guys. So I'll just, <laughs> just like a split second, um, Stan, please um, tell them about the, your shows on YouTube, okay? Your channel and stuff oh, and what they expect. Sure, okay. sure. Uh, I, have, uh, I have a channel which I'm not remembering the shortcut for because usually it's Sanex and I make make others. I couldn't get that, but I do a couple of shows. I do one every week that's called Random Encounters where uh, I use in, in uh, role-playing games and dragons, they have a thing called a random encounter where it's a, a chart, a table, and you will you don't know what kind of monster you're going to encounter, but you use that to generate a rolling dice. So what I do is I have a random encounter tables, one with kinds of creatures and one with strange situations. And I roll the dice and create a situation I never thought of. And then I draw it for everyone else to enjoy. And for the people that are in the chat room, I'll give them the opportunity to help uh, fill out the details, kind of like you would at an improv comedy show. The mm -hmm. audience gets to decide what it is I'm going to draw to something. All right. And so, what, so what days are those stand? That that is on Thursday evenings. I'm in the Pacific Northwest, uh, Pacific time in the U.S., mm -hmm. and it's at uh, 6 p.m. Pacific time on Thursdays. Okay. Um, so which normally, I know is that's yes. 10, Ten in the morning for you. Yes, about 10 a.m. for Philippine time or in Asia, okay? But on top of that, you also have another show stand, which I also like. I also yes, I also have a show uh, about sumo wrestling. I lived in Japan for five years uh, in my youth, and I became a big fan of sumo wrestling and have been ever since. And I follow it pretty closely, and I have been a fan for... 30 plus years. And so uh, I do a show called The Sumo Show, where uh, my host and I look at what's going on in the world of Grand Sumo. Uh, when there's a tournament, we'll go over the matches and the important, the important matches, look at them and we'll explain what's going on. It's a good show for both for people that have are, are longtime sumo fans and for people who have never really watched it before. And I know you've shown up quite a bit, Lala, yes. over the last year. Because the thing is, and growing that... up, I often, because I have a brother, older brother, and he loves watching mm -hmm. sumo. Of, co of course, he's the older sibling, right? So he right. gets first dibs on, you know, shows on, t on the TV, right? So um, right. we often, you know, the younger siblings don't have a choice. But So eventually, I liked, you know, watching sumo. and that, But it has been for a while until I found, you know, a stand a show and said oh so that somehow i it reminded me of my childhood and how i love sumo growing up right but then i am continuously learning and loving it so the way stan does it together with his um co-host Troy is amazing and he has an amazing community as well both on facebook so he has a facebook group for both okay the um, um random encounters and for uh, the sumo one, right? Okay. So Correct. For, yes. yes. So if, if you want, okay, to follow Stan, of course, he is also on Patreon. So I am actually a member of a Stan's Patreon. And uh, there's so many yeah, awesome you, things that you can get being a part of his Patreon, right? And of course, he's on YouTube as StanX. Uh, Stan. Is that correct, Stan? I think I messed up the link to that one. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, the ad, the ad is for YouTube. Yeah, I couldn't okay, get just correct. Stanex. So, the, okay. yes, the YouTube channel is Stanex Stan. Okay, okay. So, it's Stanex Stan, okay, on YouTube, on Instagram, <laughs> and on Facebook, it is Stanex, right? Okay, and then correct. from there, you can find, okay, the Facebook groups okay so stan again let's just read some of the people's comments and those people saying hi to you and probably sure, meeting you for sure. the first time okay so we have dawn hello hello here first okay hi dawn okay what is this 
Okay, okay, hold on. Okay, I've been having issues with uh, my, uh, what do you call this, um, comments for the past couple of Vlogmas days. <laughs> And Don actually, um, Stan has something similar coming up with. Um, uh, remember, you have um, uh, random encounters where mm -hmm. you choose what characters, what other things you can yeah. show. So, for the crafty community, um, Don and uh, Jay, who is also a, um, an awesome uh, artist and crafter, they're going to do what they call like a uh, uh, craft uh, art Yahtzee. So something similar, right? So yeah. roll yeah, the die, like yes, mm -hmm. and then you get to choose like what they're gonna do, stuff like that. So it's it's awesome, and this is gonna be on the, I think it's the nineteenth for you guys and the twentieth for me. Yeah, there you go. So hi Sammy, and of course hi Stan. Okay, crafting visage <laughs> is a uh, dawn. Okay, there. And of course we okay. have Marcus. Hi Don. Hello Hi, Marcus. Marcus. Good evening. You should be going to sleep now, my friend. <laughs> it's super late for you, but thank you so much for dropping by and supporting me and Stan. Okay, Don, yeah, say yeah. hi to Marcus. And Kuya Ray, magandang umaga po. Morning, Mami Lala. Mega love shout out. Yes, there you go. Oh, Andy! Happy Hanukkah, you all. Oh, I thought yeah. Hanukkah was the other day. So it's today? Han Andy? Hanukkah is eight days. Oh, so it's eight days. So it started, mm -hmm. I think, two days ago? If oh, I'm not yes. mistaken, or three days ago. Happy Hanukkah, Hi, Andy. And great to see you here. Happy Hanukkah, Andy. Andy. Yes, there you go. Hi, Don and Sammy from Marcus. Good morning, Po, at Sammy Pai. And Miss Mary, good morning, good morning. And thanks for sharing. Is there a link to his channel? Yes, yes, Don. All the links. To his Patreon, YouTube, Instagram are all in the description of this video. Okay. Creativity oozes from Stan. Love it. Thank you so much, Andy. So much. <laughs> and eight crazy. Keep, you know what? I, I keep towels around. If there's too much there's too much creativity oozing out, I I mop it up so it doesn't show on camera. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you, Andy. I know it's probably pretty late. And this is not afraid of color T. We call her T, but uh, it's actually tracing fear. She was my guest yesterday, Stan. She had to wake up at 4.30 oh. a.m. See, she is such a trooper. And I know she's a little bit under the weather. So T, I hope you're feeling much better, my friend. Hello, Miss Mary from Dawn. There you go. And we have David. David is also coming in as a guest in a few days guys all right. all right so without further ado let's bring me and stan to back to the show stan is actually not new to the show he has been here once okay in the past and uh, it was such uh, that time he made me draw <laughs> and i created a <laughs> dragon kind of dragon so if you want to see that okay i should have put the link to that show right it was an awesome yeah. show but it's in my playlist you can check it out okay but today stan is going to help me do coloring but before that i know there are many people right now in the chat stan that weren't there when you first came in so maybe you would want to like um you know just a brief uh creativity like uh journey so far when it started and how you came about to be a content creator now on right. youtube and well, facebook all right so we'll we'll do the short version of yes, this the very super like, short version. long version the whole show will be gone yeah <laughs> so i uh like like almost everyone i know who almost everyone i know anywhere i like to draw when i was a kid i just never stopped i kept drawing my entire life and uh, because of that, I've been able to, uh, I've been lucky enough to be able to get some, uh, the, to parlay that into some or or more of my work, depending mm -hmm. on what stage of life I'm in. I've also, as I said, I lived in Japan. I was an English teacher there. I, while I was there, uh, I also uh, helped to form an organization for people who like to play hobby games, like board games and role-playing games. And uh, through that, I wound up getting a job in that industry. And I wound up working as a game designer for the company that created Dungeons and Dragons. Mm. And uh, over the years I've done, I did a lot of writing and editing. I wound up being a personnel manager 
crazy. Uh, and uh, all the while, though, my favorite thing has always been cartooning. So whenever I get a chance, I go back to that. And, you know, becoming a content creator, that's what I'm focused on because that's what I want to spend most of my time doing. All right. Awesome. So again, that is the super duper shortest That's version it. of Stan's <laughs> amazing journey. All right. So Stan, yesterday I uh, created, we did mixed media card, mm -hmm. holiday mixed media card with, uh, of course, with the prompting and guidance of our dear friend, Tracy Fear of Not Afraid of Color in the, mm -hmm. in the chat. And of course, when it came to like, I needed to call her in. Okay, this one, Stan. Okay, so yeah. this guy, I needed to color him in. It's like, oh no. So, see, Tracy is not afraid of color. I am the other end. Uh. I'm afraid of color. Because of the fact that, you know, color combinations, you know, escape my, my brain. It's like, what goes with what? I would rather have like a random color, <laughs> grab whatever, but most of the time that won't work right it can create mud especially when you're you know mixing or blending stuff right so i was so afraid and then uh you know a t said okay no use this color use this color so i was able to finally you know at least come up with a decent you know project and coloring so i said it's perfect that today i will get to know more about how can i handle um, navigate through color stand maybe um you can give us just like a general tip of how not to be overwhelmed with color how do you do it well i mean a lot a lot of it comes from practicing and finding out what looks good to you right and uh uh, there, there are certainly technical ways. I, I really, I don't recommend. There are people who've written whole books on color theory, mm -hmm. and will teach you that this color only goes with that color. Uh, I find that the best thing is to trust your instinct. Right? You know what looks good to you, uh, and to uh, if you, if you just, uh, I think it sounds like you got, you got. Uh, nervous about making the wrong decision exactly and the good the good news is that even if you make a decision that turns out not to be perfect it doesn't it doesn't matter <laughs> all the, it's kind of like your your clothing all you have to do is get dressed to make yourself happy right oh. same thing with the colors if it feels good then it, it'll be fine and i think that you'll find that if you don't worry about it if you can let yourself calm down mm -hmm. and you look at it Video will spring into your head and you just know, go with Stan, it that is it's like you you know it's the same message that t gave me mm. yesterday in terms of you know that that thing that fear of you know mixed media and color she said just trust the process right and yeah. somehow yeah the same thing right. she said just you know, relax. See? It doesn't matter. Sometimes if, you know, you make a, it doesn't even look, it's still fun. It's okay. As long as you yeah. did it, you're having fun with it. That is the most important thing. So right. I think really this is resonating with me so much that, you know, I'm trying to really relax. It's like, you know, that um, overachiever always has to be perfect, yeah. you know, kind of mentality that somehow I grew up with. Um, slowly, slowly at age 50, <laughs> I'm trying yeah. to like, you know, peel off that you really, it, it can't be like that. You know, life is so unpredictable that, you know, yeah. you, no matter how you plan A, B, C, D, E up to prime, whatever, you know, life can always throw you a curveball and you're not going to be ready for it. So having yeah. that, you know, uh, mindset that it's going to be fine it's gonna be okay and seeing my friends like you and tracy and everybody else to say relax relax okay so i think i have not been relaxing <laughs> majority of my life <laughs> everything has to be down and relax yes okay so let's relax okay and stan adam is in the chat hey there kids hey Hello. adam <laughs> yes coach adam is yes, also coach going adam. to be oh. with us soon guys and everybody's saying hi to everybody. And that's Tracy. Hey, Adam from Andy. Okay, hi, Dawn. Okay, there you go. Me saying hi to everyone. Okay. And hi to Adam from Dawn as well. 
And Tracy said, right on, Stan. All about fun. Okay. You Come know, on. You, you guys are going to like have the same mindset. Absolutely. Throw <laughs> these on the coffee table. <laughs> says T. Color with your heart. Color exactly. Your heart. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now let's go to the meat of this pro uh, program. All right. So I know you guys are excited to know more about color okay so let us do this okay Be but first and foremost what are we coloring today okay so stan just released i think about two weeks ago right stan that you I think so yes about two weeks ago uh if you are not following him okay so he did release this awesome coloring calendar for 2024 Right, and so when I saw that, I immediately grabbed it, and I needed to have that because for me, it's like, oh, perfect opportunity to practice my coloring. Because I said in 2024, I will overcome this fear of color, mixed media, water coloring, and all the things that up to now somehow I never shook off the fear of. Right, so I said, perfect way to practice. Okay, so Stan, okay, we would love. For you to show us your 2024 calendar coloring calendar i would love to show it to you look there it is this <laughs> is the cover so um one so i was going to come back i realized we can look at this there are uh i think you you notice there are two different kinds of color on this mm -hmm. right we've got the hand and the crayon are fully colored like everything every inch of it has got color and it's got shading mm -hmm. and it, to give it a sense of depth and then the coloring on the picture below it is loose and and just kind of free flowing mm -hmm. and we're going to be talking a bit today about how to do that kind of coloring in particular the, i think that uh, a lot of people try to get that that the the hand and the crayon i did that with a digital tool, trying to do something like that by hand when you're just coloring for fun is is really hard and and not what the media are really the best for. If you can get an idea of how to play with the color and just mm -hmm. kind of do it in loosely, and we look at that, that, that dragon there, you can see there's lots of little bits of white sticking out, but it still kind of feels like a fully colored section. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk about why that is, and how you can, you can do that. Uh, in the meantime, I guess we maybe let's just have a scroll through the calendar and see what's yes, in it. Yes, excited for that. Yeah. So, yeah, so that one that's on the cover is really the January drawing because 2024 is the year of the dragon. Ooh. Um, and so I, uh, um, and you added all the, the animals of the, all the animals calendar. from the, yeah. Um, and, uh, uh, yes. And so then for each month, uh, I've got, of course, a, a calendar, mm -hmm. but on there, I've put the birthdays of artists who are, or have been important to me mm -hmm. in my development. So uh, here we've got uh, J.R.R. Tolkien is the 3rd of uh, January and uh, uh, Hayao Miyazaki is the 5th. So all through the year, we've got those. And mm -hmm. uh, also uh, the, the U.S. holidays, we've got Martin Luther King Day on the 15th. Mm -hmm. And the, the last thing is, uh, if you look on the 14th, that's a sumo reference. There are six sumo tournaments a year, and I put the date that each tournament begins. There you go. There. So it really is. This is my calendar. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it, it's full of Stan. All right. So the February drawing. That's my birthday. Uh, <laughs> and my first month. <clears throat> got a, uh, a kaiju cereal. Um, so I'll tell you the secret behind this calendar is that uh, five years ago, I think five years ago, when I was trying to come up with something I could give to the people who were following me on uh, uh, on social media, just kind of uh, a little something to make sure they keep coming back. 
each, I started doing this. I made a calendar and, uh, or each month I would do a coloring page and attach it to a calendar and send it to them. And it really was just whatever I was thinking about. I had this idea for, uh, Kaiju crunch cereal. So I drew a picture of it and I thought, mm -hmm. Oh, that'd make a coloring picture. Um, and then of course, March. February, mm -hmm. but when is your birthday? It's on the second. Oh, I have to put that on there. <laughs> okay. Next year, next year, we'll make sure Lala's birthday is on the calendar. All right, awesome. <laughs> okay, so okay, right. so March. March. Uh, I was doing in uh, five years ago. I was doing a lot of karaoke, so I thought it'd be fun to do an underwater karaoke <laughs> drawing. We will have you in my karaoke uh, <laughs> session soon. Okay. <laughs> I don't care if I get a, uh, not, not because normally you don't get a copyright strike for that. Just a copyright right. claim. Okay. So they can get all the revenue. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a sing. Um, I don't know why December showed up there. That's okay. not, I'm going to have to check that out when okay. I go. Oh. Uh, okay, so for uh, April, um, this was just this was an idea for a, a regular Why cartoon, and I I didn't have anywhere else to use it, so I put it in the coloring page. All right, so see, sometimes you know, oh. just because, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, no, it's just, it's just for fun. As much as the coloring is for fun for everyone else, uh -huh. putting the calendar together was a fun for me. Okay. So there you go. Okay. So that was April. Okay. So we navigate to the next one. Yeah. Dragons. Another one. Uh, dinosaurs. I dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Sorry. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, this, yeah, it's an idea I, I got after looking at some other cartoons about the dinosaurs and the meteor that Oh yeah. I thought it'd be funny. The stink. dinosaurs knew. Right. Yeah. Uh -oh. yeah. The dinosaurs knew they're they're teaching a lesson. Be careful. <laughs> oh, it's happening now. Okay. <laughs> there you go. So that was for uh for me. That was May. And then in June I realized, oh, you know, the warm weather's coming. Maybe I should uh maybe I should start doing something in drawing that associates with what's happening. So I <clears throat> Uh, monsters from Japanese monster movies, but they're having a, a fun day at the beach. <laughs> so this is something similar to what Stan does during his um, during his show, right? So during a, yeah. uh, random encounters. <clears throat> it, yeah, it seems like the kind of thing, right? Giant monsters on the beach, and mm. I draw something like this. Exactly. So that was for June. Okay, and this is and July. July. It was time for some ice cream because it was very hot. I th you know, I never realized how many dragons were in this. I guess I like dragons. Uh huh. And maybe because it's the year of the dragon in twenty twenty four. Yeah, it works right. out very well. Exactly. Perfect. Okay, so that was July. Okay, okay we're July almost there. And August, August, we got another dinosaur or dragon thing. Okay, so this is something like Stan does in like really funny captions. No, no, first I saw the ball, then you fetch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> All right, so the next one. So you see, it's so it's nice August. to color these kinds of images, right? So it's really meant for yeah, coloring. Should be, should be, you know, enough detail so it's fun, mm -hmm. but not so much detail that it makes you crazy. Mm-mm. Yeah. So this one, the domestication of humans. <laughs> there you go. Okay, uh, and then so that's September. Then October, we got a little trick or treat with a real monster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not a costume. <laughs> yeah, no, he just wants some candy. Uh huh. All right, so we're almost there, guys. Just two more months. We're almost and then November. <clears throat> November. Uh, you wonder how the how the trees change color. Mm -hmm. This is how it happens. <laughs> they color it in. <laughs> yeah. That is so cute. 
Okay, fair at work. So fair is at work. There you go. Yeah. Oh, and then you know, December. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Absolutely. Christmas, right? <laughs> okay, so that was okay. I'll bring us back together again, Stan. So that is like a preview of this awesome calendar. And it's a perfect gift as well. So if you are on the fence of what could be a nice gift, okay, <clears throat> to, you know, whether, you know, for a kid or kid at heart, like me, mm. right? So I that's why I, you know, I jumped onto that and I bought it immediately because I knew I can use this to practice my coloring, right? So this is the perfect gift. A perfect gift, Absolutely. right? Not just for you know kids for or kids at heart, but also for crafters in our community. So, Stan, how will they be able to get this awesome calendar before we start actually coloring? So, um, it is available. I've put a link up in my um, in my social media. I'll be putting it up again mm -hmm. uh, every week to make sure people have access to it. Right now. It's only available as a downloadable PDF, uh, but we're waiting for the approval and, and hopefully it'll come this week. I'm hoping because mm -hmm. it's almost, it's almost the end of the year, but mm -hmm. you will be able to buy it as a, a print version. So you don't have to, so you can buy it as a PDF and print it out yourself, or you can buy it like a regular calendar and get it shipped to you. Oh, wow. Um, Options, so, right? Uh, Yes, yes. So uh, let's say the, the company that's doing the printing and shipping mm -mm. is are reviewing <clears throat> the file to make sure that it, it works. All right. Um, and so that's that what I'm very super... worried about that December. Okay. I hope it comes <laughs> out before <laughs> before the New Year's stand. But now, at least yeah. right now, it's available as a PDF downloadable, yes. guys. Yes. Okay, Stan, let's do this. Okay, so... Um, we, the reason why Stan and I actually came in a little bit late today was because um, I was having a little bit of a tech issue on my side of things because I couldn't make um, my color look okay. Uh, whoops, <laughs> Amy, find an. That's okay. all right. I told you. It's, um, uh, you keep talking. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> my okay you see my workspace right so that is uh, my ipad i brought in my ipad into the stream and um uploaded uh stan um this is january right stan we're doing january this is, this is the january okay. picture all right and then uh the thing is i don't know why it keeps on giving me a black and white um image maybe a coach adam in the chat okay some of the tech people in the chat can help me out i don't know i tried i googled it but it won't work so finally i said it's okay worst scenario actually we really just want to you know learn from stan okay but i'll still want to call her you know alongside stan but if it really doesn't work then everything you see on my side will be black and white <laughs> So just watch <laughs> stands. Okay. So stand when we are faced. Oops. Sorry. 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 Okay. With an image like this. Okay. A coloring page. Okay. Right. So how do you suggest we like uh, we we start with the coloring in of of this images? Well, you know, uh, I think that the thing about uh, we were talking about before, it's all about having fun. So you look at the part that appeals to you most. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, sorry, Stan. Can this? I can I hold you on with that, right? So maybe before sure. we start actually coloring in. So guys, although we talked about you know doing the physical coloring with markers and all, so maybe we don't have enough time for that today. So um, Stan and I are just going to do this the digital way. So Stan and I are using Procreate, not sponsored. Okay. So but that is what <laughs> we're using. Okay. Are you doing it on an iPad? with uh procreate and an apple pencil okay so if yep. you have all true any, yes any of all those not, all not sponsored okay all not sponsored <laughs> yet but hopefully maybe stand soon right so okay so guys if you want to try and uh, you know color in along with us whatever it is you have probably have at home if uh you have not you know gotten the calendar of stand you can do so okay you can use procreate and your ipad or iPad pencil or whatever probably coloring app that you may have. Okay. So there you go, Stan. Go ahead. 
Okay, so um, I'm gonna say one of the things we were talking about when you're when you're doing the coloring on digitally, you, you have to worry about layers, which when you're doing it on a piece of paper, you don't. But here we want to make sure that we're putting our colors underneath the lines, but above the white background. So what we have is, see down there, the layer, I'm going to turn off this top layer, those are our lines. And if I turn off this bottom layer, that's our white background. And this layer that's in blue there is where we're going to be coloring. And you've got the same thing going on on your, your screen too. So then you want to, uh, just like when you're coloring on paper, you want to decide whether you want to use crayons or markers or pencils. Uh, in when you're coloring digitally, the version of that is which brush you're going to use. And you can get brushes that will simulate pencils and crayons and, and different kinds of brushes and different, different patterns. I like to use in my drawing, there's a brush here in uh, Procreate called Gloaming. Gloaming. And because it gives that feeling, when you looked at the cover of of the calendar that the the uh coloring that i that i seem to be doing had that feeling of of crayon coloring mm -hmm. the gloaming brush gives you that that kind of feeling here so we're gonna pick one thing what which of these animals do you want to color first Ooh, let me see probably the dragon because it's okay. like the biggest one <laughs> Yeah, well, maybe that's one thing. Maybe you want to start with the biggest thing and then move on uh, from there. All right, mm -hmm. so we're going to pick a color to do the dragon. Um, well, and then again, this is all about your creativity because dragons can be anything. Dragons can be red or blue or gold. I know the, the traditional uh, New Year's dragons are usually gold, but mm -hmm. uh, what do you think? What do you think, Lala? As you said, go with what you think, right? Doesn't have to be like super. Anyway, That's it's right. a cartoon, right? So it's not like it has to be like the perfect golden dragon, right? So, right. Like nowadays, Stan, it's like normally Christmas colors are green and red all the time, right? But in our community, right. people are trying to use, you know, non usual, non traditional colors. Mm hmm. So, what do you think? What do you what do you think we should go with color wise here? Stan, I'm not in the position yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's go with let's go with maybe purple. Okay. Purple. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Normally, it's right. royalty, right? Okay. So, so, uh, so are we using so a gloaming you, brush? I'm going to be using the gloaming brush. Yes. A gloaming. Okay, gloaming. Uh, so here's the first tip, whether you're doing it digitally or by uh, uh, physically, mm -hmm. start with a light version of the color. Because if you put down, if we can take a dark purple and I put it down like this, mm -hmm. right, it's going to be very, it's going to be very dark and it's, you can't do much more with that. Mm -hmm. Stan, sorry but, to stop you right there for a while. Um, can you kindly send me, I think I don't have it. Can you kindly send me the link to the calendar super fast? Okay. Uh, okay. The link to the calendar, yes. Do you have it? Okay, because... Uh, I do, I do. Okay. Oh, I, yeah, well, I I'll, go through, well, I'll go through the chat a little bit. Okay, so just a little bit, guys, because I just want to also, you know, um, uh, uh. update you, uh, the chat. Okay, so everybody's been loving the calendar. Okay, and um, Don said I need to get drawing again. And of course, we have Lynn. Hi, Lynn. Okay, well, amazing artwork. Lynn is actually LV handcrafted, and I am a proud member of her membership as well. And she has been a super supportive, you know, um, um, awesome person in the crafting community. And Don said my grandson would love this. He loves dinosaurs. Yay, there you <laughs> go. And Doggy wants a Santa smooch. Yeah, that one for the December one. And uh, what, <clears throat> sorry, what is Stan's channel? Stamper Girl is actually Dallas. Okay, so um, she is also a super amazing and awesome crafter mm -hmm. uh, artist. So thank you, Don and Sammy Pie for putting in the link and then um 
they even like uh, told everybody. Okay, so Don saying it's Stan X Stan. Yes, on YouTube. Okay, there you go. And of course, we have Jay. Hi, Jay. Good evening. So, good evening to most of you. Okay, there you go. And everybody saying hi to everybody. Okay. Did you find him, T? Okay. Nope. Get nothing with it. Okay. So, Sammy kindly put the link so that people can find Stan. Okay. There you go. Okay. Got it with a Google search. Oh, see? You're on Google. Google search. <laughs> Found Stan. Thank you so much, T. Okay. So, sorry. My daughter is a little bit late in putting in the links. But all the links, promise, are in the description of the video. And um, T is subscribed. Okay. Thank you so much Woo, for thank subscribing, you very much. guys. And everybody else, I think, finally subscribed. And um, he said, I use Photoshop and have tons of brushes. Mm -hmm. There you go, T. Yes, there you go. I can only draw lines though, but I can draw digitally. Awesome, right? And gold. Okay, so they want gold. Okay. Oh, gold. All right. Okay. Yeah, Stan can absolutely do that. Okay. Can you drop a link to the calendar, please? Okay, so did you send me already, Stan? I sent it in Messenger. Okay, guys, I will send it to my moderator daughter in a little bit. Okay, so wh while Stan is, okay, while Stan is working on it, okay, maybe it's in my messenger. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Hi, Lala and Stan from Lean. Okay, um, this one Shenron is such a fun dragon. Okay, and spooling around. This is David. Okay, so David says digital color was a revolution for me. I can draw well enough. But I would ruin it with color in traditional media. So I have so much more control in digital. Again, right? So what resonates mm -hmm. with you, right? So maybe I think digital coloring might be good for me to start with, right? To practice. But I know it's a totally different feel, right, Stan? It's yeah. always a different... Yeah, digital yeah. feels different. But as uh, I think spooling around was probably tell you the mm. best thing is particularly if you're worried about making mistakes mm -mm. if you're doing it digitally you can always undo whatever you did and take it off there uh -huh. if you put something on uh Paper if you or... if you're working in a physical media once mm. it's there it's there yeah. and you can work with it and play with it and you shouldn't let it bother you uh -huh. but if it does it's gonna bother you you can't you can't undo it digitally you can make it go away and it doesn't exactly. have to bother you anymore. All right. So again, okay. So let's try to relax and just love what uh, you know we we can come up at, of come up with. Yeah. All right. We have Anna. Hi, Anna. She is an amazing content creator as well. All right. So she is Faith Fifty Two on Facebook, on YouTube, and of course her podcast as well. I am going to put you on the big TV. <laughs> Thank you, Dallas. You will be on <laughs> Yes, but really, it's nicer so you can see as, you know, um, Stan colors in. I just subscribed to Stan's channel. Thank you, Dallas. Everyone, thank you, thank you. Make sure to you uh, to like the video. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, please do. It will really help the channel. And Master Red Megalove, shout out. Um, Dawn saying hi to David. And guys, this is finally, okay, the link to the calendar. 2024 calendar by Stan. This is where you can get it. Okay. So it's very, very well priced. You'd be so surprised. And so it's it can really make, you know, a perfect gift. Okay. But then again, for the little ones, it's probably better to have that physical um, uh, coloring book coming up soon. Hopefully soon, uh, yes. Stan. Yeah. All right. So there you go. Um, Sammy just saying... Um, you know, good uh, good morning to everyone. And he said, Control Z. <laughs> yes, control right? Z if you make a brain. yes, if you <laughs> make a mistake, just do control Z undo, right? Or command Z, whatever it is you're you're using, right? Okay, Stan, can we go back to you? That's okay. Let's go back. So okay. um I'm gonna I will change to gold since everyone okay. wanted the gold, but then you yes. continue with the purple. I was saying that if we have a different okay. color, there's not a lot of you can do to get it darker, right? And and make it you, you don't have a lot of room for adding things to it. 
and also if you do if you do do something that you think is a mistake which again i think you shouldn't worry about uh it's it'll always stand out when it's dark but if you start with a light version of the color you like you can then go back in and add more and more mm. and add details in so whatever color you're doing whatever medium I you're in i suggest you start with the, a light version of that color. Oh, okay. So you color so it all in first, first on the light, the lighter shade. Yeah. And Stan, I, I, my Procreate yeah. is working. I have colors. All right. Also, okay. Okay, uh, so we're going to go to a yellow gold. for gold. Okay. And we're gonna pick a light yellow color. And um, now we were talking before about you know, if you try and fill the whole thing in like that, that that works, right? Mm -hmm. But it's particularly if you're working in a physical media, it's hard to do and you may go over lines like that and then you feel you have to erase. Um, and that works great. And, you know, we, we spend a lot of time when we're kids, we're told color inside the line. Yes. But that's my training. <laughs> but that doesn't mean you have to color everything inside the lines. I'm going to erase those. And um, when I when we looked at the original uh, the cover for the the um, the calendar, we had, had something that looked a little bit like this was the way that Stan, the is there a done. rule like uh how much white space one has to leave on so that it still looks you know no like, no no again I, I i there's not a rule but if you look at it and you think that's too much white space then go back and fill a little bit of it extra in okay got it but what i'm so the the key to doing this the key to getting this kind of coloring is to think about shapes the shapes that are part of this drawing. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to switch brushes so I can show you this a little clearer. Um, if you look at this dragon mm -hmm. head, there are, oh, I got to switch brushes, don't I? There are shapes. There's this part of the face is one shape. And this part of the face is another shape and the mouth or the snout is made up of like that mm -hmm. right so you want to think about the shapes that are making up the thing you're drawing mm -hmm. and then do coloring just worry about filling in that rough shape so if i Oh, I put all that on one layer, so I guess I'll have to back out of these. And if you look, you'll see that this yellow that I put on the snout fits within about that shape. Mm -hmm. And this one here fits there. So, yeah. so instead of coloring it like coloring, one full, you know, head. Yeah. Okay. So you divide them into right. sections. And so, yeah. So that gives you... Uh, it, it helps to play up the feeling of of depth and mm -hmm. shape on the dragon instead of it just being one flat color mm -hmm. of uh, yellow or gold. Mm -hmm. Each of the areas has a little bit of separation, as you said, a little bit of white. And if you feel like, oh, here between the eyes, that's too much. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, take some away. And if they start running into each other and you feel, oh, why did I do that? Use your little... I do. <laughs> T said, yeah. Command Z. Okay, Control Z. <laughs> Command Z or back, back step Base, here yes. on the iPads. Just go back. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this is helpful with digital. It's really helpful when you're using a marker or a crayon too. Because it's so hard, you know, to get the the color to cover exactly what you want, and you're coloring so 
with all the big, you know, big space, mm -hmm. this dragon, he goes on forever. And you'll, you'll make yourself a little crazy if you're trying to fill yeah, in every they do piece. All but the, if you, like, uh, you know, blending and all that stuff, this is going to take me like the whole yeah. day probably to, to color in really nicely. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, in part, you know, if that's fun for you, then do it that way. Mm -hmm. But if you want to, particularly if you're trying to uh, um, do coloring either quickly or just mm -hmm. just for fun, just you're not you're not going to worry about it. Yeah, but... thinking about it this way mm -hmm. gives you the um, sometimes the opportunity it's so nice to... to feel that you actually accomplish something in such a sport, yeah. short span of time, right? So this is basically uh, like how Stan does his uh, his segments on his channel about random encounters and drawing. Mm. He would do three, right? Um, average, right? Three um, um, yeah. drawings, okay, on his show that runs about an hour or more or less or, or so. Yeah, okay. so about an hour. Fast. It's about 20 minutes of drawing. Okay, so 20 minutes of See, imagine, so three drawings. How can you actually do that if you're like super, you know, um, you know, it has to be super perfect and all of that. But look at it in yeah. a bigger picture. It looks really nice, right? And it also has a feeling of something that, you know, you could do. That's mm -hmm. an, I really want with the, the um, Random Encounter show to give the feeling. I know that not everyone's going to be able to draw as mm -hmm. well as I can, but I want to do it quickly mm -hmm. and not everyone's going to have the expertise coloring, but I, I wanted to have that feeling of, Oh yeah, I could, uh, maybe I can't do exactly that, but I can mm -hmm. do something like that. Exactly. So inspiration. Okay, guys, if you have questions for Stan, go ahead and put it in the chat and I'll try to ask them. Okay. Uh, because uh, Stan is sometimes, you know, that's what happens when he's drawing during the show. He's like, okay, I know he will just look at the, the questions later on, right? So, yeah. but now I am here so I can throw in those questions for, for you guys, okay? So, while Stan is coloring in the rest, okay, I will throw in some of the comments here for uh for stan okay so for jay um he said i'd rather print it out since i'd rather not to use tech when i'm doing arts yeah. right so that's also fine right fine. so yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. sammy said personally both digital and traditional art is fun to do depends on my mood most days which one i'll work on ha 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 because she is gen z okay this is my moderator daughter yeah. right so this is you know digital thing is i think you know what they are you know used to but for me i'm still trying to navigate through this digital world right <laughs> and don said i just purchased the calendar oh thank you Whoa, so much, thank you very don. much thank you thank you and i hope that you like it as much as i have my eyes aren't what they used to be said t <laughs> so after a while i have to move away from the screens yes that's so true as well I, same here i want to watercolor it there you go i hope it can be printed on a watercolor paper okay does the pen okay there's a question for you uh, Stan. does yeah. the pen have a pressure setting that would make the lines wider or more narrow the the pen has a pressure sensitivity and also although you can't see it on the screen on the left side there's a control bar that mm -hmm. lets you change the size of the pen so like right now i've got it set to about that size i can move it smaller and we can use the same pen at a smaller or even smaller. Mm -hmm. Guys, what or... we're using okay. is called uh, Procreate. It's an app. Okay. It's a one time buy, if I remember right, Stan, right? We bought it one yeah, time at a time. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And I bought it during a sale. <laughs> so it's like super <laughs> awesome. Right. So I've had it forever. And also my daughter actually loves Procreate. So there are settings that you can actually toggle with. Okay. And then um, Dawn says, I want to watercolor it. Okay. I did that. that I have be been great. considering a pen. So T said, I have been considering a pen. Huh. There you go. And All right. Hold on. Before question. we go on with more uh, comments. Okay. I want to want to. So 
we see we've got basically most of the dragon done mm -hmm. in the gold. Mm -hmm. And that looks, that looks fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um now if you want another thing you can do, whether you're using digital or or physical media to yeah. give it a little just a little extra, right? So you maybe you want to make it look not quite so flat, right? That's just yes. a flat color. Yes, we want a kind of a blending right. so happening. Shadows basic, in, yes. The basic shading or shadowing and putting mm -hmm. shadows on it. And the you have to there's one one bit of thinking you have to think of before you do that, and that is where do you want the light to be coming from? Mm -hmm. And usually you're going to pick one of your co top corners and go diagonally down to the other corner. Okay. So, so we're going to think in this case, we're going to say the light is up here and it's going down there. Okay. So then we're going to come to back to our, uh, whatever it is we're drawing, in this case, our dragon. And I've got to go back to the gloaming brush. And we're going to see the light is going to be coming from up up on the upper left mm -hmm. and going down to the lower right. So we, we want to find the parts of the dragon that are on the lower right side. So oh, out. OK. So this the shadows will anywhere. be on the lower right. Right. Okay. And so if you just take a darker version of the color you basically use and just put a little bit of a line on those op those sides that are opposite the light. Okay, the where it's coming from, right? So if it's coming from right, the yeah. left, so the shadows will have to be on the right. So if it's on the right, right the shadows right. will be on the left. Ooh. See, that's one thing I was like, well, how do you put the shadows in? See, that's all has always been a question for me. So before what I do is I put shadows yeah. all around it. <laughs> like in the right? power, all the sides have, you know, shadows. So it's it so the, <laughs> it's not interesting, right? When everything has a shadow. Yeah, well, it, it becomes confusing for the eye. Mm -hmm. And your brain figure even even if you don't understand it, your brain understands it. Mm -hmm. That's that's how light works. So you start with just a little bit like that. And already it gives the dragon a little bit more, just a little less flat. Yes. It yes. makes it feel more, uh, uh, have more depth and, yes. and size. Now, on top, on top of that, anywhere two things meet up, like here, the pig is sitting on the dragon. Okay. So we put a little oh. shadow under there. Okay. So when two things, images meet, there has to be a shadow. Okay. Hmm. Or there can be. Again, okay, there's there not can a, be. Yeah. I think thinking about has to be will also make yourself a little crazy. Okay. But okay. The, they just okay. help. Okay. Yeah. See, no absolutes. So like here, <laughs> I'm not going to put it under this arm because the arm is not actually touching the dragon. Oh, okay. You see? So, yeah. So now we put those on and suddenly the dragon just looks a little more... Interesting. Dragony, yeah, a little more sinewy. Is. Sinewy, okay, that's a great word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, so... I'm a writer too. Okay, yes. <laughs> okay. So what's next? What do we color in next? Okay. Uh, what do we want to color? Let's go. Let's go to the pig. Pigs are nice. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna pick a pink for our pig. I'm gonna start with a light pink. And here again, I'm looking at that whole thing is one shape. Our pig is kind of round. But then the nose is its own shape, and the arm is a shape, each leg is a shape. There's a little too much white under that arm, so I add a little extra. And I just kind of look at it, and I, you know, I eyeball it. I just kind mm -hmm. of judge. Yeah, that looks a little under there, under the seat that's 
it's a little too white. Let's put some pink in there. And then again, we'll do the same thing. We'll find that pink. We'll go with a little bit of darker pink. And same thing, the light's coming from the upper left. So down on the lower right, we put a little bit of shadow. I'm also going to use it. I'm going to, uh, so there actually there's maybe, an, uh, I, I want to think that there's a lip here, right? This, let me change, switch pens again. Like that, this line here that there's actually a lip. Okay. But Stand it is. What kind isn't. of uh, brushes do you use other than the glowing? So the glowing is uh, uh, for like you want to cover in fast. Um, yeah. Uh, -huh. uh I like to use the studio pen here under uh, the inking brush. I uh, use the studio okay, pen okay. for most of my line work. Okay. Um, I okay. also under painting use a damp brush which has kind of a, a, a kind of a watercolory feeling okay, i yeah, still haven't like found that. a really good watercolor i think the, i don't like the what what's the brush it says watercolor okay. i don't like it so much it doesn't work for me oh, maybe so it'll work for brush. you okay i like the damp brush okay. and under calligraphy i like to use the brush pen um which is a lot uh like using it feels a lot like a regular brush pen mm -mm. uh so let me see if i zoom out a bit here if you again th this uh apple pencil has touch sensitivity so if i touch lightly i get a very light line but if i push down it will get thicker mm -hmm. like i was using a brush there you go all right so can do that oh okay that's why you can do calligraphy really right yes right. so i use this uh honestly i like to use this when i'm doing um i do caricatures uh sometimes and i like yes. to remember have a very... i remember stan uh, created a caricature of me for my, the reopening yeah. of uh my um what it calls my joyful crafters club and while I was like doing a live stream with one of our friends, uh, uh, I forgot his name, uh, Claudio. Okay, Claudio. Stan was watching and he, you know, randomly created a caricature of me and Claudio live streaming. That was super cool, right? So um, Stan also is a good caricature. Of course, he's a cartoonist, right? So that's part and parcel of what he can be. Okay, so you're, okay, now you're putting shadows onto the pink. Yeah, well now I'm I've put some shadows onto the page. You see there now I picked an even darker color for the hooves and I'll use it for the inside of the mouth too. Mm -hmm. I'm go. just trying to decide the nose. Is it darker pink or something? It's, it's no. usually lighter. Oh lighter. There you go. The main body is very light, so I don't know. I think just Okay. Uh, Stan, Jay also just picked up the calendar. <laughs> ah. Thank you, guys. Enjoy Thank coloring. you. Thank you so okay. much. There you go. So, uh, yeah. So here you see we've done the same kind of thing with the pig and gotten that. And, and I would say if you're uh, doing any, any kind of piece like this and it's got multiple characters, Mm -hmm. Do the same kind of thing. Pick the character you like best and do that one. And then pick the next character you like best and, and uh, just kind of have fun with it. Okay. So again, you know, the color, as I said, one of the things that really scare me is what color what to color use. To so do you have like a suggestion? Let's say really have no idea. Like yesterday, I like, see that's me. I think lack of, you know, when you see things, I see things, but really not looking carefully so it's like coloring the bee uh what are the color what's the color of the what, what was my problem um, with the bee um, um i didn't know what the so, color of his face is right so right so sometimes where do you get references for you know like I, inspiration so, for the um, i'm trying to remember 
I have a I have a good general advice, but I'm trying to remember. There's a a function in in Procreate, mm -hmm. and I don't remember how to get. But it's a color. It's a function where you can give it one color, and mm -hmm. it will show you two or three other colors that go well with it. Oh, Stan! Uh, if you can remember, please send it to me, and I will also post it. <laughs> mm. Post show. Don't um, worry. Don't worry about it. But it's just this question that I have in mind for those who probably are really struggling with, you know, um, because they're not very, you know, observant in terms of. Of course, you can always Google, right? But uh, then right. if you don't have access to somehow, and then you are physically coloring or probably coloring offline. So where can you find inspiration? Okay, so thank you so much for that, Stan. At least we know that there is such a thing, right? So, okay, people are going to right. do collaboration coloring. Yay, awesome. All right. Go for it, Don and Jay. Yes, and then T is even saying, feel free to post in my group. Thank you so much, T. Yes, Not Afraid of Color also has a Facebook group, guys, just in case you don't know yet. And, of course, LV Handcrafted is Friends of LV Handcrafted also. It's a group. Okay. Um, okay, um, so but Don it, said... It's, it's, oh, yeah, yes, yes, Stan. I was going to say, but to, it, if, even if you can't find that, uh, you were saying using Google. If you use Google mm -hmm. and look up either uh, complementary colors or mm -hmm. color wheel, and and ask for a generator then there are lots there are lots of little sites online where you can go in and pick a color and it will show you colors that go well with it okay there you go right because there are actually um is there things that we can buy but um, sometimes they're very expensive but T actually showed us a few weeks back an option mm -hmm. where it's actually free. And I tried it. It's awesome. <laughs> so, so many options for us right now, okay? So, maybe if we can get people to purchase the calendar, they can buddy color with us. Oh, there you go. So, um, uh, details. More details are brewing up in the chat. And, of course, we have Vincent. Hi, Vincent. <laughs> okay, Vincent, we were talking about, you know, stress a while ago. So, this is perfect because Vincent Woon channel is uh, stressed out, stress we and we actually did several um, um, collaborations with Vincent in the ch in the channel. And he said, "Yes, I bought it too. We could do a live collab." Oh, thank you guys. <laughs> and maybe Stan, if they can invite you over, is that possible for in their channel? Oh, if if I'm available, I'd be happy to come in color with everyone. Okay, so there you go, guys. T, Don, uh, Jay, if you are going to do that collaboration and if you want, you know, to invite Stan, yes. Just uh, hopefully his schedule will fit the the, the schedule. So that'll that that'll be a challenge. Yes. Thank <laughs> you so much, guys. Thank you, really. I am learning alcohol markers. Okay. Mm, yeah. Yes. Okay, I am not sure my laser printer will print on watercolor paper. Maybe we can have like somebody else print it for us for now. But okay, worst scenario, Stan is coming up with a physical coloring book. Hopefully, of course, Stan, if we can request that it be color water friendly, the paper, if we can have an option for that, not just for, uh, what do you call that? Not just for color pencils and markers. If, if, mm. okay, I don't know um, if, if that's going to be an option. Okay, I was able to... I don't, think... so... Mm. Yes, Dan. Mm. I was going to say that's uh, the places that are printing it, I'm not sure. That they okay. Some of them will give you will give you an option of, for different quality papers, mm -hmm. but printing on watercolor paper is Hard. usually expensive. pretty expensive, so yeah. I don't think it's off in a lot of places. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, and Jay said, I was able to print on a 110K pound probably in mine. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Thank you for sharing, Jay. Can you use a smudge tool to blend? Do you absolutely can. Okay. We've got a smudge tool up here. Okay. It's the little, well, on... I know you can't see this on the screen here, but Lala, it's the it's a little finger icon next to the brush, and if okay, we use yeah. that, we oh, can. Oh yeah, yeah, that smudge. one. Oh yes, the smudge. Okay, so that's what it is. Okay, smudge. Okay, smudge got it. the colors together. Okay. Get a nice blend. Okay. So I think we can't see it, Stan. The jargon is too big right now. Okay, where is it? Oh, there you go. Okay, there you go. Oh, here we go. 
Oh, so you're smudging it. Okay. So when do you usually use the smudge uh, stand? Uh, Suggestion. I, I, I usually don't. Uh, okay. So instead, <laughs> I, of, instead I work, of smudge... I work in, in uh, but if I were trying to do something that I was to get that naturalistic yeah, feeling. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. What do you right. suggest? Uh, I I would use it there. A what? But um, what I don't do I, I don't usually work that way. Mm, so with, what you do is you layer it, right? Yes, I also I work in um, uh, I I work in ways that look very similar to cell animation, right? It's mm -hmm. it's uh, col flat colors that lay on top of one another and don't have and have full opacity. So you don't see through them. Um, mm. So uh, it, think about any, um, any animation you've seen where you don't you don't have that gradual blending uh, shadow is a different bar of color entirely, it just happens uh -huh. to lay on top of a similar color. Okay, okay, I got it. But yeah, but then there's the smudge tool if you want to use it, right? So again, yes. do what works with you, right? Or what resonates with you. Okay, at least yeah. now we know that there is such a smudge tool in Procreate. Okay, and yes, you can... Okay, hold on. Um, let me see. Yes, T said there are a lot of color generators out online. And if you miss that, a live stream of uh, T where she actually um, in, uh, did a live stream where inspired by you know colors and stuff okay had uh, and she uh, showed us some free um, things that you can use okay and he said you can also multicast to your channel okay okay we can email him yes absolutely Don okay there yes yes Perfect. yes email him okay Yes, I've noticed some of the coloring book folks will give you options with bindings and paper types. Thank you, Jay, for, for that uh, um, information. I see him smudging. There you go. Don. <laughs> I love the contrast. See, I, could, I couldn't. I could It's like, I, I, it's small. I <laughs> think. See, I love the contrast of hard lines, says Don. Okay, there you go. Mm. All right, so um, Dan, uh, Stan, Dan, who's yeah. Dan? <laughs> okay, Stan. <laughs> okay, so do you have like uh, maybe this is just uh, again a preview of what? Okay, so guys, I know you said where is Lala? Okay, let me see. Oh, but <laughs> why is, is it not showing? My coloring is not showing. I did color. Okay, hold on. Okay, see, this is the tech issue I've been talking to you guys about. That's why we had to commit a little bit later. Um, I can actually see the color already, Stan, on my end. Yeah. Okay, I will show you. Here we go. Right? I Looking did do great. coloring, guys. <laughs> yes, but somehow it's not showing up on my screen. So tech <laughs> is not fine with me right now but i did right so stan maybe if you have some of your um you know finished random encounters stuff there maybe you want to share a screen so they can see can. some other things right so what are the things that actually you can see on random encounters again so i hope that this inspires you to start coloring in and the tips that we got right so it doesn't have to be like super colored in right and the different brushes that you can use so there okay stan is showing us okay some of you know i know you probably want to see some of his works right because that was what i did the first time i met stan it's like, I want okay to so here we go so this is from last week's random encounters okay. show where we had uh, so so i can show you that this is what the encounter lists look like. Mm -hmm. So we've got six different who's and six different what's. And then we use a, a dice, a six sided die yes. to roll it and pick two of them that go together. Exactly. And in this case, for the first one, we had adventurers reading the comics. Okay. So this is actually the finished colored in one, guys. But when Stan yeah. starts, it's a blank 
page. It's a blank piece of right. canvas, so to speak. And he so, does all of these things. See. And he is actually inviting everyone to do this alongside him, right? So you do the random right. encounters alongside him. So if you are free and you want to do this to practice alongside him, right? So that's just the first drawing. And the second one you did yeah. for that. Um, so uh, I was just gonna say. So we start. Okay. We get the idea, and then I do a sketch. Okay. And then from the sketch, I will draw the lines. Mm -hmm. Guys, and actually, we'll... Stan taught me this in an episode. The first time he was here, he we did that. He showed me how to like do that from the sketch to do that one, right? So you and might want to watch that. Add the color, so we wind up with the finished piece. There you go. And of course, put the stand exclamation point. All right. Yeah. And the finally, okay, so the second and third. Oh, second you did four one, rounds here? Uh, uh, Yeti doing a street stamp bus. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, Cyclops uh, catching snowflakes on its tongue. Oh, there you go. See, it's really fun, fun things, right? So you may think this is not something that's, that's why you guys, you were my inspiration last night, Stan, when I was doing oh. this. I said, you know, can, can you see a gnome on a bee and Santa, right? So this is something yeah. like what you can do when you join Stan on Random Encounters, right? So just let the creativity, you know, flow. It doesn't have to be like, this is the only thing that can be a Santa. So anything, any creature can become whatever, right? Oh, that's super nice. Okay. okay. Oh, so you have one already place. finished. This is this is what is going to be my holiday card this year. Oh. I didn't. So Can this I is a full one? color version <laughs> of that same drawing. I and hope I get one. In, we look in a little closer, you see the same, just what I'm talking about with the shadows. Exactly. Right. Oh, okay. And but this one, you fully colored it in, right? So right. not just, yeah. okay. So, so there this is, the as shadows. I was saying, this is the kind of coloring I, I like to do where it's like cell animation style. It's flat, large, flat areas. Okay. But it's a, it takes a lot more time to color that way. I, I couldn't mm -hmm. do that this kind of coloring in the same, uh, you know, 20 minutes per drawing, mm -hmm. or if I was just wanted to come and hang around with people and, and mm -hmm. color, I'd spend so much time focusing on this. I couldn't enjoy the company. Exactly. Exactly. Right. But at least you gave us an idea of how we can, you know, start out. Okay. So we can just get over that, uh, fear of coloring and you know yep. just start creating and doing things okay and lynn said beautiful stan yes yes oh, i agree thank you. we'll be tuning in and playing along for sure oh thank you so much don and i'll see you in the chat oh, i'm great. almost uh, normally in the chat if i don't have a meeting oh how <laughs> fun all right so there you go so stan i hope i can receive one of those cards i really want to have that card <laughs> <laughs> well, I just I have to make sure I know where to send it. Yes, of course, of course. All right, so that was it for us today, guys. I hope that you had an amazing time and learned so much as I actually did. And so sorry about that. As I told you, I was also coloring along with Stan, but, you know, tech issues happen and that's absolutely fine. So thank you so much for staying. Okay, despite the delay in us starting, you guys are super awesome. And thank you for supporting Stan. Okay, guys, again, okay. So this is Stan. He has a Patreon, okay? So if you want to support Stan further and be part of his awesome community, he is on Patreon as patreon.com slash Stanix and on YouTube at Stanix Stan. Okay? And on Instagram and Facebook at Stanix, okay? Uh, as Stanix, okay? And also he has Facebook groups, okay? Both for his sumo show and for random encounters okay so oops 
I forgot to change that one. That was from my episode with T. <laughs> so I thought I for okay. I was supposed to have a question for the day. Okay, but that probably would be for another day. Okay, so and then Lynn said, Great show, Lala and Stan. Thank you so much, Lynn. And great stream. Nice to meet you, Stan. See you on your channel. Yes, and don't be a stranger. Oh, I look Go, forward to it. Yes, when you visit Stan on his live stream, say hi, right? Okay, there you go. And please, please, you know, um, draw and color along with him. With that, thank you so, so much, Stan. I would also like to invite you and everybody, okay, for my tomorrow show, it's going to be with Katie. Katie Fox is actually a um, marketing uh, person of Ecamm Live, okay, the platform I'm using to do my live stream. But one thing I didn't know probably for those who know Katie is that she also is a crafter at heart. She does crochet and all these things. And tomorrow we'll be doing December daily. Okay, so it's kind of a journaling that we do for the whole of December. So I hope you can join us tomorrow. Same time if we don't have tech issues, <laughs> 9 to 10 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, with that, thank you so much again, Stan. Okay, thank bye you for everyone. Having me. Have a great bye, rest everyone. of the day. And we'll leave you with this. An invitation <laughs> to our craft getaway in February 24, 25, 26. Bye.